Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I'm fine Kisumu is also fantastic. Maybe you could let me know where you are watching this particular video from. And also allow me once again to wish you a happy, prosperous new year. Now, there is one question which most Kenyans are currently asking. Ray Ludinga's game plan for the year 2023. Because the truth of the matter is that 2023 politics and Ray Ludinga's factor is actually going to shape the 2027 general election. So what is Ray Ludinga's game plan? Because for those who follow the politics of this country, just a few days to Jamuri Day celebrations, Ray Odinga had embarked on a series of political activities, what he used to call the People's Consultative Meetings. Then from nowhere, Ray Odinga stopped the parallel Jamuri Day celebrations. Of course, he was under a lot of pressure from the United States of America to drop those parallel meetings. But what is Ray Ludinga's game plan for the year 2023? Because towards the end of uh, last year, Ray Ludinga made it very clear that he was going to make a major announcement. In this video, I want us to look at that announcement, which is actually causing serious political panic within Kenya Kwanzaa brigades or Kenya Kwanzaa team. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you guys to take a second or two, press that thumbs up, that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your support. Last year was the best year for this particular channel, and I really value the support you offered to the channel. Let us show that love just by pressing that thumbs up button now because that's the, old, or the other way of supporting the channel. Now, before we look at what Ray Ludinga is likely to announce to Kenyans, let us figure out Ray Ludinga's option after the last general election. Let me ask you, what are some of the options available to Ray Ludinga? If you ask me, after William Ruto was declared the president of the Republic of Kenya, Ray Ludinga's options were actually narrowed. So for me, Ray Ludinga currently has three options which he can pursue. The first one is to retire from politics. Because there's a group of people who thinks very strongly that Ray Ludinga has tried all he could as an individual to win the presidency. And that has never succeeded. And therefore, the only thing which is left for him is now to retire so that someone else can take over. So that is one option which is available for him. Based on his statements, I don't think Raila Odinga is going to retire from politics as at now. The second option for Raila Odinga, in my view, is to take charge of Azimio and mentor either Kalonzo, Kalonzo Musioka, Martha Karua, Joho, Oparanya, or just any other individual within Kenya, within uh, Azimio. So he has that option of saying, okay, I'll still be in, in politics, but let me mentor one of you guys. But of course, Ray Ludinga also has the options of making another attempt at the presidency. This time around, I don't know the grounds he'll use because in 2022, Ray Ludinga supporters believed he was going to win because he always lacked the state, the deep state, and the state machinery, which Uhuru Kenyatta provided to him. And of course, we all understand that Ray Ludinga actually also thrives under very difficult circumstances, like the circumstances he's finding himself in. So he can decide, okay, now I want to run for the last time for the presidency. So which means he will have to figure out how he's going to deal with his supporters who are already fatigued. Some of them have already lost hope. 
Some of them are already finding their footings in William Samoyah Arap Ruto and also deal with the fact that Ruto is now the president of the Republic of Kenya who is actually going to defend his seat. So he has those options. But what do you think Raila Odinga is going to announce to the country which is actually keeping Kenya Kwanzaa on toes? Because he said, he told them, he told us, Raila Odinga told us, and his allies have told us that he's going to make a major announcement. What do you think Raila Odinga is going to announce? For me, if you ask me, and by the way, before we proceed, please don't forget to press that thumbs up button. And also, if you are already subscribed, I mean, if you are already receiving notifications and you are not yet subscribed, this is a new year. It will cost you nothing just to press that, th that subscribe button. Press it, then we proceed. Now, the question is, what do you think Raila Odinga is going to announce to the country? For me, Raila Odinga is going to announce to the country either of these four things. Number one, the beginning of people's consultative meetings. You know, Raila Odinga had uh, set the tempo for his supporters. He held that rally, was it in Kamkunji, then he was supposed to go to Jakaranda for that parallel uh, Jamuri Day celebration. Then, from nowhere, the meeting was cancelled. His supporters were really angry. So maybe Raila Odinga is going to announce to the country the beginning of these people's consultative meetings. These people's consultative meetings will help Raila Odinga to reinvent. The truth is, if Raila Odinga had proceeded with the Muhuri Day celebration, parallel one, and the attendance was going to be good, then he would have scored a big political score. So probably that's the mistake they realized they made and therefore they want to begin. But how are they going to persuade Kenyans to proceed and join them in the people's consultative meetings? Because you know, as we speak, the cost of living has gone up. Kenya Kwanzaa government has made life more difficult, more unbe unbearable, even compared to what Uhuru Kenyatta used to do. Just yesterday, William Ruto, while speaking in Mombasa, confirmed that indeed they removed those subsidies. And after removing those subsidies, the cost of living has gone up and he's going to do nothing about it. So Kenyans are really tired, the cost of economy, but he can uh, use the same, same issues to gain the momentum. So I think Relo Dinga probably is going to embark again on the people's consultative meetings. Number two, I tend to think that William Ruto has been in government now for three or more months now. He surpassed that uh, 100 days uh, last month. yeah. And during this period, there's a lot of scandals already. And Red Uringa has information. Remember how Ruto dealt with Uhuru. That is the same strategy which Raila is going to use on Ruto. He's going to make life very difficult for Ruto. So he's going to expose some of the scandals. He's going to expose some of the failures of this government. For example, when you talk of uh, subsidies, which were removed, William Ruto on his own account has stated that they've saved uh, 25 billion Kenya shillings, while at the same time, William Ruto has already borrowed 1 tri trillion. Remember, Uhuru borrowed in 10 years 6 trillion. Ruto is borrowing already 1 trillion in less than 3 months. So probably Ray Ludinga is planning to highlight some of the failures of this government, the omissions, the weaknesses, so that William Ruto will not know peace. So that's number two. Number three, I also tend to think that Ray Ludinga is going to set the agenda for the opposition. Now, what role will the opposition play in this government? Because Ray Ludinga has already accepted the fact that he lost the election, that William Ruto is the president. And as much as he's telling his supporters that he, he will re recover that stolen victory, I don't think it's going to be possible. So let us wait and see. But I tend to think that Relo Dinga is likely 
in the in his first address to the nation is likely to set the agenda for the opposition what are some of the issues they are going to pursue what are going to, i mean how are they going to pursue those particular agenda because as we speak i think the opposition has missed they are i mean they don't have really a clear strategy on how to check on this government so probably Ren Odinga is going to come up with that agenda for the opposition and number four i also tend to think that Ren Odinga is going to be keen on electoral reforms Ren Odinga is not just going to leave Wafula Chebukati free the way people think you know if you look at the history of this country Wafula Chebukati will go in history as the individual who conducted the most expensive election in the country the most controversial elections ever if you look at 2013 and even 2017 i mean even 2017 and even 2022 i know william ruto consider wafula chebukati the hero of this election but nobody is actually explaining to kenyans the role Jose Kamago played in this particular election because you can't celebrate Wafula Chebukati and at the same time fail to celebrate Jose Kamago if Jose, if Wafula Chebukati succeeded in conducting free fair election then it means credit should go to the company which offered that platform the Jose Kamago who is Jose Kamago so some those are some of the things that Odinga, in my view is likely to pursue, pursue electoral reforms and lastly the 2027 election i want you guys to monitor Raila Odinga's speech very closely when it will come is he going to run who will accompany him when he will be addressing the nation and if he's not going to run who will be his preferred candidate is that candidate going to be Kalonzo Musyoka? Is it going to be Martha Karwa? Or is Relo Diga still going to be the person taking all the limelight? So let us wait and see how all these things are going to unfold. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.